What's going on YouTube? It's Reginald Denton, your tour guide on the road to elevating your image. And this is part two to edit in the music video on Luma Fusion 2.0. Now on the last video, I didn't tell you guys, but if you make sure that you're not selecting anything, as soon as you click on the scissors, it'll cut everything in that line, all the footage in that line. So that's how I was able to cut to the beat and get all of these different sections. Okay, let's go through this and find uh, a good clip to put a LUT on. Um, right here, I'm going to use this clip. Now, in order to, to do this, you need LumaFusion 2.0 and also you need Affinity Photo. We're going to select the clip, then we're going to click this arrow down here and click Snapshot. You're taking a picture of the frame that we're on right now. We're going to take that picture, bring it up in affinity photo click the plus icon click pick from camera roll find the picture bring the picture up okay you click on the fifth box down on the right with the circles the three circles in it we're gonna start out with white balance now once you click this white balance button anything white in the scene that you click on is gonna adjust with the white balance for that area make sure make sure that it's something that's pure white or close to white or 50 percent gray Click on that, and as you see, the picture is changing. So then we're going to go over to the adjustments again and find, we're going to find the curves. You click on the curves, um, the third box over at the bottom, you click on that, and then you can adjust your curves. I like to keep mine dark at the bottom and just a little bit of highlight at the top. My curves probably look different than, than most people's, but... This is how I like my video to look. That way I can adjust it later. And then we're going to go over the adjustments again. We're going to go over the adjustments again and get shadow and highlight. Again, at the bottom, you can adjust your shadow and your highlight uh, percentages. This is going to be different for every picture, so you just dial it into how you like it. This is also another way you can check for adjustments. If you click over, if you click the box at the top where it says exposure, It'll bring up a dialog box and you can go down and, and pick a box. So we're going to go for exposure, bring down the uh, the highlights a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go to color balance. I'm looking for, uh, it's a couple of different ways you can get the color balance. If you click on adjustments and you scroll down, you'll find color balance, the color balance box. So again, this is all about your, your shadows, your mids, and your highlights. Just dial that in to where you like it. This is where you fine tune your look. I want to push a little bit of the green and the shadows and more reds and oranges into the mids and highlights. To so try to get that, that movie looking orange and teal look. Now that I got my color where I wanted it. This box right here, the third box down on the right, if you click on that, that's your layers. You can see that the layers are broken up into everything that we picked. If you click on select all, it'll select every all of the boxes over to the right then you click to the left that paper icon and scroll down to export LUT you name your LUT okay let's let's name it crease story this will be all of the story uh, footage this is what we'll do and then you click on save I saved it in files so that way I can bring it back up in Luma Fusion we go back into this we click the edit box if you go to the top you see Cree that's what I had before we're going to get rid of that and you click on that arrow, that download arrow to the left, find uh, the LUT in your folder and there it goes, it comes up. You can dial in the opacity of the LUT. If you don't want it to be that strong, you can use this slider to uh, adjust the opacity. So we added it to, to this scene. Now in order to add it back to everything else. All you got to do is click on the edit box again, get into editing mode, take this look that I had previously on, throw it away, click the trash can, click on the LUT box, bring up Cree story, dial in the opacity, and there we go. Boom. We got our LUT for the whole storyline. This is kind of dark, so I'm going to bring up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess with the blend mode again, and then you can add, if you click on original, you can add another instance on top of the LUT so you can go in and play with the colors, the contrast, the brightness and 
exposure and things like that. We're going to bring the shadows up. Bring the highlights back up. Mess with the saturation. And then click the contrast. I'm liking how this is looking right here. Click the eyeball to cut it on and off and see how you feel about it. And there you go. Boom. There's the LUT. It looks a lot better than messing around with the colors in actual Luma Fusion. They're decent, but you can dial in a lot better within Affinity Photo. It's e just as easy as clicking on the LUT and dialing and messing with the blending mode. Messing with the blend to see how strong you want the LUT to be. See, this is the LUT I had on there before. We're going to get rid of that and add Crease Story on top of that. Get rid of that. And add Crease Story on top of that. Boom, instantly. Looks amazing. Looks like a movie. We're going to dial it back a little bit to bring some of the, the shadows up. There you go. As simple as that. So, this was how to add a LUT on top of your music video footage or any footage, period, in LumaFusion 2.0. Y'all stay tuned for more tutorials, and if you like this one, make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. I'll catch y'all on the next one.